Hello, boys and girls. Today I will try to be funny, and I will tell you something funny about words like fart, dress, pee, and so on. Well, in Poland, if I say "mam farta," it doesn't mean that I, you know, fart. It's a luck. It's kind of luck. If someone is farcharz, it means that this person is always lucky. Sometimes this luck is kind of stupid. For example, you are a professional football player, and I just started. If I am a farcharz, I could probably win. So yeah, mostly it's kind of stupid luck. And if I say p, it doesn't mean that I want you to pee to my bottle. It means drink, because pitch is to drink. Ty pijesz, ja piję, wszyscy pijemy. If you see Polish word B A B Y, it doesn't mean baby. It means women. It's a little bit colloquially. Sometimes it's insulting. If I would say głupie baby, but I won't say that. It means stupid women, baba. It's mostly an elderly woman who acts sometimes rude. You can say tafredna baba, which means this rude woman, a hag, a witch. Amphibia. It's not an animal in Poland. In Poland, it's a vehicle. You, you can see this thing. J E S T. If you see that phrase, it doesn't mean that joke. If I say to yes, it means this is. Yes, it's just be. Ja jestem, ty jesteś, on, ona, ono. Yes, to jest. Just, not a joke. All right, it's kind of funny for me. Um, B U R Y P I E S. It's not berry pies. No, nothing will be buried. It's a grey, dun dog. You know, kind of dog. Bury pies. Bury is a color. It's something between grey and white and brown. You know, hard to find out. Next one. W a n n a. It's a bath. Polish bath. Yeah, this is vanna, not wanna. To jest vanna. It might be useful. Baton. Do you know that we eat batons? It's not this thing. It's a baton. Dress. Do you know that in Poland, Polish boys wear dress? Here, dress, it's a tracksuit, it's a type of trousers. I don't know who translated it and who made this word. It's, it's kind of funny. Sometimes I, w uh, sometimes I was confused when I was talking to my friends and dress always in my head, it's like a dress. Anyway, dress is sukienka. Sukienka, confident. It's also colloquially and it's very, very informal. It's not a person you can trust for. It's an opposite. This is the person who betrays the informer. You know, you do something wrong, maybe? If you drink beer on the street, this person will call the police. And last one, the vodka. It's nothing about devotion. It's a big old lady, mostly elderly woman, who spies you and tells bad things about you. Things which are not always true. Okay, it's all for today. I hope it might be useful. Maybe sometimes you will see these words, these sentences, and you won't be confused, because you already know it. So, if you like that kind of lessons and that kind of movies, please subscribe my channel and also give the thumb up because it's very nice to me and see you next time in another Let's Polish!